Hello there, folks. This is Lefty210, coming out of a long hiatus. So I was recently looking for new topics to discuss when I asked one of my friends, Guard of Liberty, what segment I should do. And by the way, you should check his materials out. It's pretty good stuff. I'll provide the information in the box below. So anyway, as I was brainstorming with Mr. Liberty, he suggested that I could look at weird, random, but comical historical facts. Immediately, I liked the idea, so without further ado, I am introducing a new segment on this channel, The Weird Side of History, where I, Laughter, will be presenting interesting facts that you may not have heard of, or if you did, stick around anyway, because I will be discussing them briefly. First on the list, patricide and punishment, the good old Roman way. And actually, you may have heard of this one from uh, George Carlin, uh, show Life is Worth Losing, that aired back in 2005. So, in ancient Rome, the capital punishment for patricide, or killing of your father, was death. But the Romans were quite creative in their execution method. They would take an oxen hide and create a big bloody bag, big enough to hold a man and four animals, a dog, a rooster with its claws sharpened, a snake, and a monkey. Once all the members were inside the bag, the, the bag was sewn shut and thrown down a river. This was known as Puena Cole, literally meaning painful leather bag. Now you might find it comical that these were the animals chosen, right? Why, why not a horse or a porcupine while you're at it? Well, despite having the appearance of being hastily chosen by someone looking at his farm or backyard, each animal had a specific, specific purpose. According to Cicero, a Roman politician, lawyer, orator, and philosopher who lived from 106 BC to 43 BC, the meanings were as follows. The dog and the rooster represented the home, the dog as being its guardian, and the rooster being its waker. In other words, they were the ones looking over the daily activities of the home. Because they failed to protect the father, they joined the murderer in the bag. So next on the list is the snake. In this case, a viper was commonly chosen. The viper, as Cicero stated, represented open quote, the male principle which may kill even as it gives life. End of quote. This referred to the viper's oviviparous Behavior. Vipers do not lay eggs as other snakes. The egg remain in the mother's body until they are ready to hatch. Thus, when a viper gives birth, it gives life birth. In this case, the babies might attack and kill the mother. Thus, the snake would represent the murderer himself and the reason why he is included in the bag. And lastly, the monkey. Perhaps this is the oddest addition to the group. It may appear random, but for Romans, a monkey was, as Cicero pointed out, the god's cruelest parody of mankind. The monkey's purpose seen here seems to humiliate the murderer. In a way, he was reminded that his crime made him inhumane. And uh, already the Romans uh, did not have many, uh, did not have a lot of respects for animals. Thus, to be stuck with four animals in a bag, pretty and it indicated pretty clearly that the murderer was less than humane. In fact, he was a joke, a betrayer, worth as much or even less than a dog. So there you have it, Puena Cole. Now you know a bit more about it. And hopefully this was interesting. 
So join me next time where I'll be discussing a rather humoristic event that occurred during World War II. See you then.